It is officially Madden season again, and in this video, we're going to cover exactly which playbooks you should be looking at to start the year in Madden 22. So if you are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos, but let's jump into it. All right, guys, so here we are. We're going to take a look at the top five playbooks in the game, and I'm going to roll through this pretty quickly. This is a very important video for everybody who's just kind of getting started in Madden 22, thinking, where do I start? How do I get my offense rolling? Here's what you're going to want to do. So number five on my list, and number five on my list is going to be a pretty popular formation from, or pretty popular playbook from last year, but it's the San Francisco 49ers. Now, if you are a runner, this is probably a great formation for you, and it's a great formation for a couple reasons. Uh, it now has I-Form Close. So last year, the San Francisco book did not have I-Form Close, and if they did, they didn't have it to the extent that they do now. So they have the power O in it. Uh, I form close with power O is something that you always look for. Whenever you're running I form close, this power O play is very, very good. And it was one of the best runs in the game last year. It is still going to be really good moving into Madden 22. They also have stretch. They've got ISO and dive. They've got very good run plays out of this. And as you guys know, if you're familiar with Madden 20 or Madden 21, when you were able to, before they had all of the uh, the user rush stuff going on in Madden 21, this was one of the best formations in the game. And then early on in the year, this year, even if people still are able to user rush, which the jury is still a little bit out on that, um, you're going to be able to do it early in the year just because of the speed of users. They're not going to be 99 speed, so the user rush is going to be slow. And then even with the new true motion in Madden 22, user rushing is just much, much more difficult. So... Uh, this is obviously one of the best run formations in the game. It's a great pass formation as well. Uh, but you also have I-Form tight. You've got slot close. These are both great run formations as well. So is twin TE. Uh, but I think the other thing that you're looking at here is strong close. So strong close was one of the best formations, especially early in the year last year. Uh, you saw this on the winmadden.com website. This was one of my favorite formations to begin the year. And if they didn't figure out user rushing, this would have been the best formation in the game all year round. But it is still going to be very good moving into Madden 22. So a great run slash passing offense right there. And then the other thing I want to bring up is... The 49ers are one of the only three playbooks in the game that get split close. So split close is traditionally for the last five, six years or so, been one of the best passing formations in the game. And it's still going to be the same moving into Madden 22. It's going to be very, very difficult to stop this. And the 49ers split close in particular, if you look back to Madden 21, the 49ers were the only one or one of the few. I think there was two, maybe three of the split close formations that had both the run with the power O towards the strong side, but also the fullback inside towards the weak side. So you couldn't shift your line and overcommit one way just to stop the run. And it made it very, very difficult to stop. So 49ers, number five, especially if you're a runner, you definitely want to take a look at that book. It's very, very good. Now, number four is... <sighs> A, 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 a long time favorite of mine uh, and it, it's still going to be one of the best formations in the game or one of the best books in the game the Las Vegas Raiders so the Raiders for whatever reason I think for the last four five or six winners of belts have almost all been using the Raiders playbook uh, it, and it's because it's so good with the run. It's so good at the pass. It's got a little bit of everything. Now, they did tone it down a little bit this year. It doesn't have everything that it's had in the past, but it's still very, very good. So, importantly, they do have I-Form Close. Same type of setup as the 49ers book. They have the stretch. They have, most importantly, the power O. And they've got all the passing plays out of here that you could want, especially early in the year when you're not going to have Hot Route Master. Now, the other thing with this book is it it's probably the most diverse book in the game, right? It's got Gun Bun. It that's a very very good passing formation. Um, it also has bunch te, which if you guys are still playing Madden 21 right now, is the most annoying passing formation to stop. And it'll be pretty decent moving into Madden 22. It's not going to be as overpowered because delay fades are going to be toned back a little bit, but still going to be very very good. And then on top of that, it does have kind of your traditional like Trey Y flex. It's got gun tight i mean it, it's just a very good overall formation uh and really you can run it any way you want it also has strong close just like the niners book so very very good overall formation if you're gonna choose between the niners and the raiders book i would definitely go raiders book just because of the other 
plays that are open to you. So, number three, though, is one of my favorites from last year and kind of a slept on book that not enough people ran, in my opinion, the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions offensive book is still one of the best in the game and it actually got better. So for you gun bunch users out there, this is going to be one of your favorite books and it actually got better from last year. So uh, there, there's something they removed. They did remove the clear out play, which was one of the best plays in the game. However, one of the most annoying things about running gun bunch out of the Lions last year was you did not have a good run play. You had the counter. That's it. You didn't have halfback base, so they added halfback base to it this year. So phenomenal. And then spacing switch. They also gave you the good spacing switch versus the other one as well. So very, very good, especially with everything else you get in here. You're getting mesh post. You're getting Z spot. Uh, you're getting flood. You're getting Z spot and go as well and bench pivot. Those are all going to be very, very good bunch plays. And then they also have trips tight end and trips tight end flex. So. If you're a trips tight end user, um, this is definitely going to be your favorite book because it is now the only trips tight end in the game that gets, where is it? X-Bot. And X-Bot is easily one of the best trips tight end plays because of this X route right here that finds a soft spot in the zone that allows you to do a bunch of different things with Y and B, motioning them and everything like that. So definitely one of the best playbooks for heavy passers out there this is a very heavy passing playbook and then also trips te flex guys this is one of the most annoying formations from last year as well uh, mainly because a lot of the people that had this did have the 01 trap in it but this also just has a lot of other great plays that you wouldn't be expecting with this it's essentially trey y flex but has a lot of great passing options out of it as well so uh pass heavy players Definitely take a look at the Lions book. It's going to be the one of the best in the game, especially to start off the year. Now, number, what are we on? Number two. Uh, my number two favorite book to start off the year is going to be, and this is the part of the video where I like to remind you, if you want to take your game to the next level, go check out winmadden.com. Madden 22 ebooks are coming out soon, and you can get access to all of them by becoming a premium member. Memberships start at as little as $7.99 a month, cancel any time, but for a limited time, we're having a preseason sale that gives you access to all of our ebooks all year long for $39.99. If you're tired of losing and you want to start winning, go check out winmadden.com. Where are they? The New England Patriots. So the New England Patriots, again, one of my favorite books from last year, but I think it even is going to be better this year. So uh, the first thing that everybody's going to look at when they go into the New, New England Patriots book is going to be U-Trips. U-Trips is a hugely slept on offense. Not a lot of people use it, but it is going to be easily one of the best formations to start off the year because it it is not overly dependent on having Hot Route Master whatsoever. So that automatically makes it one of the best formations to pass from, in my opinion. And then it also has really good runs out of it. So Halfback Power O is pretty good, but where's the 5-6 Trap? There it is. So 5-6 Trap easily one of my favorite runs just to kind of start off the year but it has so so many great passing options it's so difficult to defend that but the crazy thing about this book is now they actually have a viable bunch and they have a viable bunch because of a couple things so this curls attack last year was their only like you know quick zone beating play but they did this year add spacing switch spacing switch was not here last year so a huge addition right there and they also do have a halfback base, but the other thing that you want to look at here, here, where are we here? Uh, Pat Sale is very, very good to start the year. This is a very, very dangerous play just to begin the year. And then you also have Mesh Spot right here, which is also a slept on play. You can essentially run Mesh Post Concepts out of that, but uh, an actual viable bunch out of the Patriots book this year. And then of course, you've got a slot offset, this is one of the most difficult formations to stop in the game when people know what they're doing out of it. This post play, year after year after year, is one of the most difficult plays to defend. And then you've also got a read option out of here. Level sale is very good. Uh, PA bubble is very good. Like, there's so, so much to worry about out of the Patriots book. And then additionally, you got Trips TE Flex, which is essentially Trey Y Flex. Very, very good formation there as well. And finally, <laughs> we're going to get the Trips tight end. So they also have trips tight end. 
Uh, they've got curl flat. They do not have X spot like the Lions book does. So if you need X spot, I'm sorry. But what they do have is they've got a QB power. So this very, very unique to them. A very, very good play. Very hard to stop. And just a lot of great plays out of the Patriots formation. I could, I could actually talk about this playbook for a very long time. Uh, but this is definitely a passers formation. You can certainly run out of it, mostly out of shotgun sets. You're going to be running out of it with that QB power. You're going to be running, you know, the five six trap or any type of inside zone out of a slot offset. Those are all run, like they're decent run formations. But if you like to get under center and run the ball, probably not the best formation for you. But if you at all like to pass, that is definitely your book. Now, number one. The, I, what I think is the most powerful playbook going into Madden 22 is the Seattle Seahawks. So I did an ebook on this last year. Um, it, it is very, very tough to stop this formation as a whole. So if you're an under center user, you can definitely use this playbook. If you are a shotgun user, you're going to love this playbook. So let's just talk about the ins and outs of this playbook. So first of all, they also have ace offset, which very, very good. Their bunch though, one of the best in the game. Now, they have clear out SE, or clear out SE out. There we go. Easily one of the best passing plays in the game in Madden 21, and it's going to continue to be the same, uh, likely moving into Madden 22. They also have a read option in their bunch, a very rare thing out of bunch. They have mesh post, one of the best plays to start off the year. They have Z spot. They, they don't have spacing switch. They do have just spacing, which is a downside, but almost everything else out of this book is so good you have flood you have bench pivot you have mesh spot you've got z spot and go tight end hook is very good like there are so many great passing plays out of their bunch it makes it very very difficult to deal with this formation and then they also have the added benefit of having bunch te so if you go up against somebody who doesn't know what they're doing against pa boot over it's still going to be good again madden 22 that's the secret guys it's still going to be phenomenal and their formation does a great job of attacking multiple different spots with this and you can easily audible from bunch to bunch te making it even more annoying to stop uh, they also have trips te offset uh, very very difficult formation to stop here this is essentially like trips tight end um, but with the added benefit of having a read option in it having the rpo trap alert bubble like very very difficult formation to stop especially when you got to worry about the run and the pass out of it so much so all, overall, even the wing slot offset, very, very good. But overall, this is probably my favorite playbook just because of everything in it, what you can audible to. And then they also have the benefit of having a really, really annoying I form set, this H wing. Uh, the run out of this last year with the power O, the stretch, the toss, the counter, like this is just a great goal line formation. And you can actually run this probably all up and down the field if you really just like running heavy sets and stuff like that. It's a very, very good formation for that as well. But that is my favorite playbook moving into Madden 22, but those are my top five. So let me know what you think in the comments. Where are you going to start? Which team, which playbook are you going to be using if you're playing regs? And if you're playing Mutt, let me know. Where are you going to start? What are you going to do? Love to hear it in the comments section. So if you guys are new to the channel, though, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for when we drop new videos. But like always, win Madden.